Welcome. Can everybody hear me? Yes, I think we can hear you. Welcome. Okay. Okay, so ter terribly sorry. Uh, I have a short presentation. I will simply show our new uh, GitHub page, uh, which has an overview and links to the recordings of all of our uh, recorded meetings, the, the five we've had so far this year. Um, and I'll just very high level overview the, the past and the future. Um, so um, we've, we started out as a, just a discussion group, uh, a few diff members uh, just wanted to discuss the space, uh, the, the sort of problem space and business opportunities, but not, you know, uh, uh, sort of sh short term business opportunities, more like market making, more, more long view business opportunities, thinking about applications of decentralized identity technology in the healthcare space. Um, so we um, just uh, invited people that we worked on projects with to come speak. And it's, uh, you know, built up a little, little community, a little momentum. Uh, it's discussion oriented. Everyone's welcome to come to the meetings um, to approach uh, the chairs, uh, me, me and Najib and Bob, uh, you can just email me, I'm the easiest one to find. Uh, <clears throat> I'm the one on diff Slack every day. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we are um, a non-technical group. So we really just talk about uh, high level where which sectors of the healthcare space are researching decentralized identity or which uh, we think could or should start researching decentralized identity soon. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're looking at. Um, so we've had people from Lumedic uh, Human Colossus Foundation, uh, which is a DIFF member uh, and uh, representatives of Trust Over IP, which is a uh, adjacent organization, um, and my data as well, uh, a new governance, which is a European um, data governance org, uh, Comuni, which is a, a German startup. Uh, Ian Henderson came from my data and talked about J-Link and some, some medical work they've done. Um, Martin Binder of, from Sferion, uh, or was it Scott? <laughs> no, it must have been Martin because that's what's written down here. Uh, came and, and uh, brought their partners in a really interesting clinical trial um, proof of concept. Uh, that recording is very interesting to people that, that do uh, research oriented data. Um, and yeah, the, f the first meeting was uh, Sferity, uh, company I work with. Uh, and um, yeah, and, and co now co-chair Robert Celeste talking about the um, use of verifiable credentials in supply chain verification, uh, which is a, you know, um, a regulation, uh, I don't know, uh, a, whole, a holy grail, a, a very high bar of compliance uh, in the healthcare space, uh, proving people uh, pr proving, know your business partner, right? Um, so yeah, um, and uh, next week, uh, we're continuing the series with uh, Stefan Bauer from, from Kaiser Permanente. Um, it's gonna be talking about some uh, high level stuff about decentralized identity and um, electronic health records, portable health records, uh, which are um, obviously on everyone's mind now that there's these uh, vaccine thingies. Um, but uh, I think Stefan wanted to approach the question more from uh, the, the impotent mismatch between the way uh, healthcare companies and healthcare ecosystems fund research and the problem set and the technology sort of thinking about ways around the um, uh, you know, Im impasse of, of getting this kind of research funded. Uh, so yeah, that's, that is my quick tour of the, um, 
of the meetings so far. It's it's kind of a young group. But there's still room room to change and grow. So if uh, any two uh, active members join tomorrow, they will drastically change the the course of this group. Um, so yeah, please please reach out or look for the meetings on the diff calendar to just crash anytime you want. Um, yeah. That's actually all I all I prepared. Uh, do, do, do people have any questions? Uh, Bernard can. Uh, <laughs> And Sophie can speak to anything I may have left out. They're regular attenders of the group. Uh, I guess I will just endorse that uh, people should come uh, because we talk about really interesting stuff. Yeah. And I see that uh, the meeting has been advanced again. Sorry, yeah, we had to move the time again. Sorry, another group, another diff group moved their meeting on top of ours. Um, no, that's fine. That's fine. It's moving I, in the right direction. <laughs> Better for Europe, worse for the West Coast of America. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And. If no one has any questions, uh, I did want to point out that um, the process of creating this group, um, this special interest group, uh, was relatively lightweight. So if there are, you know, two or three member organizations in DIFF that are working in a problem space and want to have this kind of meeting uh, that you know, is is for the general good that that just creates an archive of Zoom recordings for future researchers uh, <laughs> to to happily discover six months from now or a year from now. Um, the the door is open, so we we can make more of these. This is a I think a format that works really well for building uh, super valuable discussions uh, among among the diff membership that uh, I, I hope move this field forward a little faster. That's uh, sort of our, our philosophy behind these groups. And uh, I, I think at least in the case of healthcare, I'm, I'm happy with the results. 